Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dr. Weefer, and I'm going to go over a little biochemistry with you. I'm going to go over the terms dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis by folding a piece of paper that you could download in the link in the comments right below. All right, I'm also going to be asking you some questions. I want you to do a mental check on what you know and what you don't know. And my first question actually for you is, what are these molecules right here? They're two identical molecules, and if you can pause the video, anytime you want to take a guess. And if you guessed amino acid, you are correct. So here is an amino acid by a couple of clues. One is the amino group, which is the NH2. The other one is the carboxylic acid group, which is the C with the double bonded to the O and the OH. Gives it the name amino acid. So the amino acid is a building block of a protein there's 20 different types of naturally occurring amino acids, and they're going to differ in this R group right here. All right, so if you want to practice linking these amino acids, what you can do is you can download this paper, and you're going to see a number one and a number two. You can already see I made some folds here. So you could fold it on each dotted line uh, so you can get the creases. Once you got the creases, I want you to fold the right over the left on the line labeled number one. Then what I want you to do is I want you to fold it back to the right on line number two. And let's see what we have. Well, we have our next question. What kind of molecule is formed when these two amino acids come together? If you guessed a dipeptide, you are absolutely correct. The reason that they call it a dipeptide is because these two amino acids form this peptide bond. So this is called a peptide bond, okay? Peptide bonds are gonna be a covalent bond between two amino acids. And my next question for you guys is what disappeared? Well, that's an easy question. You can see what disappeared, but what is formed when these sections disappear? So I'll let you peek one more time. You have an OH and an H. And if you guessed water, you are correct. So I just put it down here. You can see the water come out. You have the OH and the H come together to form this water molecule. Water comes out. And I know you know what happens when water comes out of you and you are really thirsty. You are dehydrated. And I just practically gave it away. My next question. Oh, well. So my next question is what process is formed when you link these two amino acids together. If you guessed dehydration synthesis, you are correct. The word synthesis means to make. You made this dipeptide. The word dehydration means you're taking water molecule out. So dehydration synthesis is the answer. Okay, now this goes beyond amino acids linking together. Dehydration synthesis are going to link sugars together to form a polysaccharide such as a starch or glycogen, things like that. Dehydration synthesis is going to link amino acids together in a similar fashion to construct molecules like, pro like DNA or RNA. Okay, and when you link these amino acids together, likewise, you are going to make a long chain of amino acids called a polypeptide, which is the uh, main structure, the, the main primary structure of a protein. And then, of course, it could fold in on itself based on the characteristic of these R groups. Anyway, the opposite we're going to talk about if we wanted to break this apart like that. Did you guys catch that? Something had to pop right in there. Well, where does it come from? It's the reverse. So what is it called when you are going to split the water molecule to put the components right back there? If you guessed hydrolysis, you are correct. The word hydrolysis, the root words hydro means water. Lysis means split. If you imagine it split right here. This OH is going to go right back onto this carbon, and this H is going to go right onto that nitrogen, like so. If you would imagine this split without adding this, that looks silly. You're going to have an extra electron. Well, electrons actually form bonds with molecules, so the electron is going to look to be bonding with something. And to make that electron happy, the OH is going to come in. And likewise, if I cover this H right here, uh, it's, the nitrogen needs 
it needs something to bond with. So the H goes there. One thing to keep in mind is that this can be used as a verb. It very often is. In a lot of textbooks, in a lot of re readings in biology, they may say something that sounds really scientific, like this pept this dipeptide will be hydrolyzed by a certain enzyme. So that sounds really fancy, but hydrolyzed being used as a verb, if you just replace that with a synonym such as digest or break down, it is a lot easier to understand. So just to rephrase that sentence, this dipeptide is digested by an enzyme. This dipeptide is broken down by an enzyme. It makes it a lot more easier to comprehend than when someone says hydrolyze, which is very common use of the word. So just to review, this is hydrolysis. This is synthesis. This is digestion or breaking it down and putting it together is a dehydration synthesis reaction. So if you guys want to try it by yourself, you guys could download this piece of paper uh, by clicking in the link in the comments below and give it a try for yourself and good luck in your studying.